Hi, and welcome to Module 2. Last week in Module 1, you were introduced to assistive technology, rehabilitation technology, and educational technology. Though the definitions may seem dry at times, it's really important to establish that framework as we move forward. You also had a chance to meet Sue. I hope you, had a, I hope you found the interviews just as interesting as I did. I had a blast interviewing her because she is just such a font of information. At times, I even found myself losing track of the, my interview questions because I was just enjoying listening to her in conversation. So let's keep learning from Sue as we move, through, move forward through the assistive technology assessment framework. This week, we'll focus almost extensively or almost exclusively on the HAP model and the assistive technology system. This will provide the foundation for the assistive technology service delivery process that we'll explore in next, next week in module three. I've been having a great time tweaking the course online and I really appreciate your feedback. So keep the feedback coming over the next couple weeks. In upcoming weeks, I'd like to address the disconnect between online interactions and in-person interactions. I like to do this by just scheduling brief meetings with each one of you. They can be in person or online, we've got access to Zoom, which is a great uh, video conferencing system. And it just gives me a chance to get a better sense of who are the students in this class. So as an aside, just as a personal note, the Olentangy High School cross country team started this weekend. We had a great time. We were out at the Hartford Fairgrounds, which is known as the biggest little, biggest little fair in the world. It was a great venue. It was a night race. and the, the cross country team did a fantastic job. Also, I'm super excited about the start of college football. We've got some great games coming up next week. You know, of course, we've got my Illini playing Akron. We've got University of Pittsburgh playing Virginia. And of course, we've got the Ohio State University playing Florida International. I'm expecting wins for all of them, especially at the beginning of the season. So I hope you enjoy module two and the content in there and keep the questions coming and the discussions flowing. Have a great week.